showing you guys how to do this winter glam makeup look I love the way it turned out it's, it's so like wintry perfect like I just need a cafe latte in my hand and I'm done for this particular winter season I love the way it turned out I removed all my smoky brown tone looks techniques that I could and applied it on my face and I love the end result the eyes are like super duper warm and uh, smoky but yet so beautiful and flattering I feel like you know this will look good on any skin tone let it be a deeper skin tone let it be a fair skin tone let it be like a dusky skin tone this is gonna look beautiful so I shopped for a lot of things that I was eyeing and which were on sale and also there were a couple of things that were sent to me like the foundation which I was very excited to try you will see in the video it's like full coverage and as you can see, um, I'm not really sure about the foundation. You will see in the video what I think about it. Uh, but other than that, everything like turned out so well. Like everything is so well tied together. I feel like all warm tone, bronzer, blush, lipstick, eyes. Ah. So yeah, if you want to know how I achieved this look, please keep watching. But before going, if you do like the content that I make, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also you can hit the notification bell so that you can get a whenever I upload a video so now let's get into the tutorial so I'm gonna start by skin prep I'm just using the first Ali's unicorn essence this is the skin enhancing antioxidant serum now it just launched in India and I have been using this like for a couple of days and I like it it like moisturizes my skin and I feel like it's suitable for the winter season so I'm just gonna do like a few drops of it. Like I want a good amount of hydration. Because the foundation that I'm gonna go in with is a little bit of a drier consistency, I think. This feels so cooling and hydrating. I really like it. But so far, it actually tightens my skin as well. I feel like it just pulls my skin and, you know, makes it a little bit tight. Okay, I'm just gonna take my Smashbox uh, Primer Water and I'm just gonna, like, add in a little bit more hydration. Okay, now for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Studio Skin full coverage 24 hour foundation this is the first time that i'm gonna try it out i'm super duper excited i've heard a lot of good things but this is like a full full coverage foundation and i'm also gonna use the smashbox photo finish oil and shine control primer this two came in a combo so i think that this is gonna be a good primer along with this particular foundation Oh wow, this primer is really good by the way. It's hydrating plus it's pore filling as well. Okay, I'm in the shade 3.15 by the way. Even in the uh, hydrating studio skin foundation, that's my shade and I absolutely love that Smashbox foundation. This one, I am not really sure because I'm not like a full coverage kind of person. I'm just gonna like walk in sections. I'm gonna first blend out the left hand side of my face. Oh, it looks like a shade too light. Does it oxidize? I'm using my Sigma's 3D HD blender. Like it does dry up pretty quickly, so that's why I thought of you know 
walking in sections. Oh my god, this is a heavy foundation. So thick, you guys. I don't know whether I like it or not. Few things to say about this foundation firstly the color on camera is not looking like my color exactly but in person it's not such a bad match uh, other than that this foundation is like super duper matte so it's literally clinging to my skin and I'm sure that you don't need to set this foundation this can work just like that it's super duper full coverage it covers up everything but the fact is that it does look a little bit heavy it doesn't feel heavy whatsoever but it does look heavy it has this powdery finish doesn't have a natural finish so if you like a foundation which is like super duper matte and full coverage you may like this uh, I would suggest that dry skin people stay away from this foundation you are gonna hate it because it just clings to all your dry patches and I made sure to moisturize my skin really well so I have a dry patch right here it's clinging to it so badly so badly I can't even tell you but other than that everywhere else it's looking like a very smooth finished foundation but a little bit powdery so keep that in mind uh, I think this is gonna be a very long wearing foundation that's for sure now I'm gonna start by concealing my dark circles and spots and like evening out my skin tone a little bit for that I'm using the PAX concealer this is called as a take cover concealer and I'm using the shade classic beige So now I'm gonna cream contour and apply like a cream blush as well. I have this Nude Sticks cream contour. Uh, this is called as the Nude Sticks Nudies Tinted Blur Stick and this is in the shade Deep. And then using the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Bronze Color. This is in the shade Sunkissed and this I'm gonna use as my cream blush. So regarding the nude sticks, I absolutely loved the blush. The blush is really good, it's like a very natural, peachy, sun-kissed shade. And for the contour, I feel like the contour would have worked a little bit better if 
I was not wearing this particular foundation because I feel like this foundation is moving a lot because it's that full coverage and thick. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm quickly done, I'm gonna fill my eyebrows with my MAC eyebrow pencil. This is the eyebrow stylo in the shade Spite. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Miss Claire eyebrow cake. This is an eyebrow powder and I'm gonna fill it in with this dark black shade right here. So now we're gonna move on to eyes. Now for eyes, I'm gonna first prime them with my Max Pro Long Wear Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. Now I've been using this recently and I like it because it legit makes my eyeshadow color pop. For my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Fuller Beauty's Topaz Obsessions palette. For 1700 rupees, it retails for I think 2500. Yeah, so I got it for 1700. And I was actually eyeing this palette like since a very long time. Look at this, it's such a beautiful, warm toned palette. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with this particular shade right here. So I'm gonna go like really warm and smoky on my eyes. Then I'm gonna take like a little bit of a fluffy but a little bit of a precise brush. This is a pack 032. This particular shade, this is like a darker shade, darker warm brown shade. And I'm just gonna apply this directly on my crease and I'm gonna keep it down. I'm not gonna go too high with this and not too in also just keeping it in the outer corner and blending it out yeah just like that look at that shade it's just so pretty and it blended out so beautifully and now I'm just gonna build it up Yeah, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this beautiful shade right here on my fingers itself Ooh. and I'm gonna apply this on my eyelids. Ooh, look at that shade you guys, that shade is so buttery smooth firstly. take this darker brown shade right here and I'm just gonna like right at the outer corners mesh these two eyeshadows I don't want it too smoky but just a little bit sometimes everything just gets hot sometimes everything just gets hot Same shade on a very flat brush is the Pax Zero 
102 brush and I'm gonna apply this right in my outer corners halfway just to smoke it out a little bit and join the edges okay. and then just taking the darker brown and I'm gonna concentrate this very very close to my lash line just to give it a little bit of depth I'm also gonna apply a tiny little wing for that I'm using the Nykaa's 24 hour vinyl luxe eyeliner And then I'm also gonna line my lower watch line with the Clinique's Quick Liner for Eyes Intense. This is in the shade 09 Intense Ebony. gonna pop some lashes after like they dry and this eye of mine dries otherwise the lashes is not lashes are just not gonna stick if my eyes are watering like that I'm using the henna henna lash in the style Shiza you guys know I absolutely love these lashes okay for bronzer I have two bronzers I ordered for two bronzers and these are both from Kiko these are their Sicilian notes one is the big bronzer, the other one is a nourishing bronzer. So first we are gonna try out the, I mean look at the packaging you guys. The packaging is to die for. This is a big bronzer and the other one is, this is the nourishing bronzer. So I'm going to try out this nourishing bronzer on this side and see how it translates. It has this white thingy in the middle which I'm going to avoid. I'm just going to take like around it. And I'm using my ProArt PF07 brush. Ooh. Oh wow, that is a beautiful bronzer you guys. I didn't expect that warm tone bronzer but like it's a perfect mix of warm and cool tone so it's like contouring as well as like bronzing up my face more like cooler so on this side I'm using the baked bronzer it's very powdery by the way Okay, both the bronzers are really good and very similar in color actually. This foundation is bunching up you guys, I'm not liking that. But both the bronzers are just so good. I really like the bronzers. Okay, I ordered for two blushes as well. One is the Kiko Milano Sicilian blush itself. This is the baked blush and this is in the shade Panaria more and again you guys the packaging is just so beautiful So this is a beautiful mauve shade which I'm not sure will go with this particular look So I have another blush. This is the Milani's color harmony blush and you guys must be knowing that the shade Coral beans is my favorite from this particular uh, line so I got another shade this is the bronze burst and I feel like this is gonna be the perfect shade for this winter season just taking my blush brush this is my Sigma's large angle contour brush and I'm just gonna take like all of it Ooh. Oh 
old such a perfect shade it's gonna suit my makeup look at that sometimes everything just gets harder feeling like I'm So I'm just gonna prep my lashes with mascara for falsies. I'm just using my Lash Paradise. Before moving on to highlighter, I'm going to spray my face with my Smashbox Primer Water once again to melt all the powderiness. Legend music. So till the time everything is drying down, I am going to apply lipstick for that. I'm using this combination today. This is the LA Girl Lip Liner in the shade Terracotta, a beautiful, warm peachy darker brown shade and on top of that I'm gonna be using the Rimmel's Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Love Bite another warm beautiful brown shade So for highlighter, I'm using the Max Hyper Real Glow Highlighter Palette and I'm going to be using this particular shade right here. So guys, this is the final result. I love it. This is the perfect like winter glam kind of makeup look. What do you guys think? I absolutely, I mean, I mean, I have worn such warm tone shades after such a long time, and I love the way you know the entire look is tied together. I love it. So yeah, this is it. This is my winter glam makeup tutorial i hope you guys like it if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i'm gonna go now and i'll see you all in my next video very soon until then bye